Alright, well since I'm on a bit of a random video kick here, I thought I'd uh, talk about this uh, Westinghouse electric motor that I've had for a few years. Just see if um, anybody can help me out with a couple questions I've got on it. Um, the only reason I know it's a Westinghouse is because of this uh, the name being cast into it here. It's actually not not even cast very well. There's, it's not very well defined. So unfortunately, the, the data plate, which was steel, is almost completely illegible. I mean, you can get you can get some information off of there, some numbers, but I have no idea what any of those specific numbers are. So this is a three-phase motor. It's a wound rotor induction type motor. So it would be a variable speed, so speed, so to speak, which you could, um, when it's got a load on it, you could um, vary the torque output of the motor based on varying the uh, resistance through the armature. So you've got pretty much three-phase power coming in here to the stator, and then. Uh, You've got three uh, collector rings on the uh, uh, armature or the rotor, and they're brought out here. And typically, this would go to a uh, a, a triple ganged uh, rheostat of some sort uh, to vary the uh, resistance in the uh, armature windings. And varying that resistance would either increase or decrease the amount of slip. The armature had, uh, with response, well, with respect to the um, rotating field in the stator. So, really, when it was under a load, you when you varied the amount of slip, uh, the um, uh, shaft RPM would change. So, I've got it. The uh, I've got the numbers jotted down here that I could read off of the uh, uh, data plate. Let me just set this down over here. So, we got 546, 15, 220, 60, 2, 43, 845, 30, 201, 134.8, 53.5, and then this uh, number down here. Um, I penciled it in here. 15, I'm thinking that may be the horsepower. 220, possibly the voltage, uh, 60 hertz, uh, and perhaps the current, uh, 43 amps. The rest of these I'm not sure about, other than that may be a serial number of some kind. Um, in doing a couple calculations um, with using 15 as a horsepower, 220 as the voltage, I can come pretty close to 43 amps in my calculations, but I don't exactly know um, I can't exactly get directly to 43, so I don't know what power factor uh, they were using when they determined this, if this is the amperage uh, for the motor, what power factor, what running power factor it would have. It would vary upon the load, I'm sure. And um, what they use, um, you know, what equivalent wattage they have, or they were using for their 15 horsepower, if that is in fact the horsepower. So... I said I can get pretty close, but I can't get quite to 43 amps. So, and it's not close to any of these other numbers. So, these may be resistance values for the um, rheostat bank. Again, not sure. So that's why I'm kind of, kind of hoping uh, somebody can contribute a little bit uh, to this, whether they've got experience working on these old motors or if they've got access to some information. I've got some literature inside that I need to go through. I don't think it really gets into, um, you know, sizing resistor banks for a motor like this. But, uh, yeah, I might be able to figure something out. And if not, it's pretty much just going to be uh, powered up and, you know, guess and test and see what we get. So, short video, but uh, thanks for watching.